we're filming the video for Trailer Hitch. And we're here in uh, East Nashville, we're here at Foo Bar, and uh, this is the dive bar of dive bars. There's a zombie apocalypse. The zombies are coming for you. This is where you're gonna go thinking maybe they won't find you. Everybody chasing something. I don't know why they're running. Been shooting all morning, and uh, we have an honest to God, real creature creator here to make the zombies. The zombies are so real that it kind of flips you out a little, which is really what it should be. Like, zombies are half funny because we know they're not real, and then half kind of scary because they might be real. I don't know why, no why. Everybody wanna die rich. So the story is we're sitting here at this bar. Actually, we're sitting right over there where that guy's sitting. And, uh,. <laughs> Uh, just sitting there, just minding my own business, me and my friends, my brother, all these people, and these are honestly my friends and my brother. And all of a sudden, zombies come in the door, and then the front and the back, and these are not like fast-moving zombies. <laughs> As they come in, you know, we're like, what are we gonna do? And then, you, you know, you're breaking open the zombie survival kit. And everybody takes stuff except me. So all I have left is a guitar. So about the time I start playing the song, they stop moving and they start to like dance and sway and it calms them. You can't take it with you when you go. Never seen a hearse with a trailer hitch. And so I've saved the day with the guitar, right? Then the band starts playing and it, it's pretty fantastic. The problem is, is that you just can't just keep playing. At some point I'm gonna get tired and then the zombies will have their way with me. South Georgia Stunner, hotter than hell in July. We are at the uh, Tennessee Train Museum in uh, Nashville, and we're shooting my first video to my first single, Take It On Back. We tasted heaven that summer, then said goodbye, and I don't know why. I feel like I want to jump around and perform and jump on monitors and off stage, but if I jump too far, I'm going to hit my head or do something, so that may, that may end the day pretty quick. My grandfather was a big, big fan of train. His dad worked on the train stations and everything else. And uh, the year before he passed away, my uncle, my mom, and all of us kids had built him a train set. It kind of broken his heart because he knew he wasn't going to make it to another Christmas, and that was kind of his last one with us. And uh, so it's pretty, you know, bittersweet being here today. Take it on back, take it on back. When I saw the treatment, I didn't even, I didn't want anything to change or anything to be different. I just wanted it to be just like, you know, what Wes had had. And, of course, then I looked at who was shooting, and it was Wes Edwards, and that's one of the most you know incredible guys in town, and I'm very, very, very thrilled to have him produce my videos. 